My name is Cynthia, and I'm an incest survivor. Okay, this is the part where you guys say hello, Cynthia. Hello, hello Cynthia. Cynthia. You'll get used to it, you're new. Um, I wanna commend you all for having the courage to step forward. I want you all to feel safe. And this is our number one rule here. What is said in this room stays in this room. We have total anonymity here. And if we could right now put our hands together and this sort of establishes a circle of sharing. I want you all to feel comfortable with each other. I want to remind you and say this with me. It's not my fault. It's, it's not, not my, my fault. fault. On that note, if you'd like to share. Um, my name's Gwendolyn, and I'm a incest survivor. Hello, Hello Gwendolyn. Hello, Gwendolyn. Uh, my first perpetrator was my grandfather. He was a very dashing, handsome man. He looked like Tyrone Power. Uh, he would come into my room wearing a mask and we would play Zorro and Consuelo and he would make a Z on my tummy with a feather and then later with his sword. <coughs> uh, the next incident was at a family reunion up at our house in Castaic. Um, <clears throat> they had laid out platters of great food, one of which was my favorite dish, ambrosia, you know, that fruit salad with the marshmallows and the coconut and the cherries. And my Uncle Pete on my father's side and my Uncle Ned on my mother's side approached me and uh, told me that they could help me with the recipe and teach me how to make it. So they took me into the house, into a back bedroom, and um, became overly avuncular which was really odd because they never really got along. And they were even bickering while they were having sex with me and, you know, arguing about who was gonna stand guard and positions and technique and, you know, undermining each other, berating each other while they were doing it. There's one more event I'd like to talk about. I'm not sure if it counts. It was a, my stepbrother. Does a stepbrother count? He's not really a blood relative, so does it count? Step counts. Remember that, everybody. Step counts. Well, I, I think that I'll save it for another meeting. I've taken up a lot of time. You know, it really feels good to unburden myself. You know, this means that today I don't have to cut myself or put cigarettes so it, on. So it's thing. like I go and visit my family, and they just deny my existence, you know? You're not there. You're not there. And I'm here. I'm going to scream at them. I'm here. Thank you, Trudy. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, next. You're up. Go ahead. Todd, and I'm an incest survivor. Hi, Todd. Hi, Todd. Hi, Todd. Hi, Todd. Hello. I had sex with my uncle when I was 12. He lived in Great Neck. He was a doctor, an osteopath. I don't even know what they do, but I know they're doctors. Something to do with muscles, I think. That's neither here nor there, really. 